<laughs> okay. So Here's this is this is that robot that was just in the uh, in the video, and this is Seth Davis, our head of field ops, and he's gonna uh, just, demo a little bit of the uh, robot. Is that he's Seth is using an Xbox controller to do this? He's got an Xbox controller. <laughs> the the computer that Seth's carrying is just communicating everything. It, the all the control for the robot is on board. It's got uh, sort of the equivalent of three laptop computers, one of which is used to do all the motion and two of which are used to do vision. It's got a stereo camera and another camera in its hand. You can see, if you look in there, you see there's a dark spot in the crotch of the hand and that's uh, a camera. Does this one use LiDAR? You had a LiDAR unit. You know, uh, it, it has a place for LiDAR. We don't have it here today. Um, so this robot uh, is very graceful in its transition between walking gates. Here it's trotting, it's switched to a walk. Uh, that's a pacing gate. So if you know anything about animals, these are the gates that animals normally use. And that's what you've done all the gates based on, is biomimicry, basically? Uh, basically. Although it has some gates that you don't see in animals. You'll see them a little later. Um, it, uh, it can run. It's also kind of a show off, so it can do uh, a thing that you usually don't see animals do, which is to hop on just two of its legs and keep its balance. So the feet have to be very fast in order to uh, balance in a, a, a demonstration like this. And a lot of the design starts with requirements for how fast the legs move, and then we work up. Um, one of the cool things about this robot, so many of you have probably seen robots, arms that are fixed to a table, and they can only reach this much around them. But having an arm on a robot like this, where the body can contribute the way your bodies contribute to the motion of your arms, means that the range of reach is much greater. And therefore, the things you can do with the robot are much greater than, uh, than otherwise. Actually, for that demo, Seth was driving the hand rather than driving uh, the robot. And he can tell it to go in a straight line. And uh, I think we're going to do the chicken mode. Here we can uh, stabilize the hand while the body moves, which is really useful in working on being able to uh, handle objects where the location of the object in the room is what matters. Mm. In fact, I'm feeling a little thirsty. <laughs> um, Spot, could you get me that uh, can of uh, whatever it is over there? Now, it's using the camera in its hand to find the can, uh, localize it. It's having a little trouble with the lights, I would say, here. So yeah, it keeps, keeps looking. Uh, it didn't find it. I think Seth took over control there, if I understand right. That's what I was going to ask, is how much uh, is remote controlled directly and how much... It, normally, this demo isn't remote controlled, but uh, I think the, the bright lights uh, screwed it up and uh, uh, Seth did it. Okay. Thank you, Spot. Oh, it let go smoothly that time. Okay. Oh. Gun Thanks, play. Spot. <laughs> Yeah, so is that a thing where you would see that <laughs> operating in like uh, a way to help people